Hi, I'm Mike Edwards. The company is Home Improvement Doctor. We are part of the DIY Doctor Group. Um, for our sins, we get asked to review products from various manufacturers from time to time. And today we are going to be looking at the Karcher range of vacuum cleaners. The machine itself is very, very portable and very light. Um, the main hose clips very, very easily in and out of the front of the machine and the attachments, the head, the finer nozzle and the two extension pieces are placed in purpose-made providers on the rear of the machine keeping everything out of the way nice and compact, nice and neat um, and as I say make, make this into a very portable machine indeed. Um, this one is a wet and dry. It's the WD2200. It's uh, 1200 watts and 12 litres. So the body holds 12 litres of either water or dust. And the top simply clips away from the bottom, as you can see. And that is emptied very, very simply. The, the, they do recommend, Karcher do recommend, if you're using particularly fine dust, if you're hoovering up particularly fine dust, then put a bag um, in the bottom. You'll notice that the filter for the machine is there, and when we move from hoovering up dry stuff to wet stuff in a moment, we're going to test it out as a, as a wet vacuum. Um, after you've um, hoovered up a lot of liquid of, of one kind or another, the filter can be undone ever so easily by undoing this button here, taking off the filter, washing it out and then thoroughly drying it before you use it again. It's absolutely no good trying to use it to hoover up dry dust or materials with a wet filter, so the filter must always be um, always be dry. So quite clearly if you have some dry stuff to hoover up and then some wet stuff do it in just that order. Dry stuff first then the wet stuff. So we'll put that back in as you can see that clips very very easily into place and that's done. We'll wheel it out of the way. It comes the wheels are separate when it arrives but they're very easily attached just push into the bottom so that was that was good. It comes with the hose, two extendable tubes and of course the the head of the hoover itself the attachment that's on there at the moment I hope the camera can see this um, on one side it's a rubber type squeezy thing and on the other side it's brushes so the brush and the squeezy thing work together to push the dust around and, and it gets sucked up with this you can use it without the attachment um, but the attachment ever so simply clips into place as you can see um, and we'll have a go using that first. So then we make double check that we've turned it on at the mains. That's actually quite impressive, very strong indeed. Um, this is a very fine carpet, a very cheap carpet, but it does tend to hang on to, to dust. We don't normally have the, the workshop that we're in carpeted out, but uh, just for demonstration purposes, we've laid this down. Um, and I know from cleaning it up before, it's not an easy thing to, um, to get sawdust out of because that's what we were hoovering up. Um, obviously, as with most hoovers, there's a little attachment here for, for getting into the nooks and crannies. So we'll give that a go. What I did find was that the, the brushes and the, the squeegee working together managed to lift what little pile there was and push all the dust into one place. So it was quite easy to hoover up. Um, I'm not an expert in hoovering, 
but uh, as builders we're quite expert in cleaning up after ourselves and I'd be quite happy to use that to do that. So let's use this um, thing just to finish off. Um, very powerful indeed. Um, surprised me a little bit, to be honest, um, because it, it, it didn't look as if it was going to be as powerful as that. But, but I guess with a, with a 1200 watt motor, um, then, you know, it, it, it really does produce some suction. So, all in all, that's the Karcher W2200, WD2200. Um, and in its dry version, um, quite a powerful machine. So, we're going to move straight to... Um, to using it in a wet scenario. So we'll take everything apart. We'll have to put it back together again. I'm going to get some water. And we'll see how well this does. Don't, don't, don't do this deliberately at home. Well, I just want to test. I know how much water we've put in there. And now it's going to be interesting to see I'm going to use this directly onto the hose so that you can see exactly what's going on. Um, you can see exactly what happened there. The, the squeegee was moving the water about, pushing it out of the pile, and the machine was hopefully sucking it up. It's a very thin pile. I suspect that some water's gone underneath um, and is sitting underneath. But we'll be able to see how much the machine managed to get just by taking the, the top off. Wow. Um, I'll tip it back into the, the pot in a moment. There. Hopefully you can see that. I would say that's about two thirds of the amount that I tipped on the floor in the first place, which for a, a very, very brief two minute hoover, um, and a carpet with a pile as thin as that is pretty exceptional. So there we are, it, the, the Karcher WT 2.2. This, this particular hoover is available from Screwfix, next day delivery. And from what I've seen in the very brief test that we've just given it, it's an excellent little machine. Um, recommended by DIY Doctor, certainly. <laughs>